okay so the next thing I will do is just finish up my driveway on this side because this is where the car comes in for the garage so I am going to uh, just gonna mirror this right now mirror this one that one from maybe from here okay so that's a little bit too far I'm going to move it back in and then I will just modify it okay maybe something like this and I would put in a line going from here till there and offset this the same distance as my driveway on this side and offset this Okay, and I will do another spline, take it from here, going out that way, and joining the street. Enter, enter, enter. Okay, I'll match attributes with this sorry with this one to there to there and to here make sure I give my curve of six inches on this side as well as this side and then trim my lines I did not need that to select it and delete this Go offset that six inches uh, to this side, okay, and on this side. So I'm done with my driveway on both the sides, okay. So it's just a little time consuming, but you could do it, it's not a big deal. So some more trims there you go and my road would continue from here just move this out of the way a little bit more because I'm running out of space here now I will copy this pergola and the steps from here till here then I have a little walkway and my pool that I could copy as well rather than making another one I will show you how to make the pool anyways but I'm just going to copy this right now from this point to this point okay so I have the pool in I can put my jacuzzi I'll move my jacuzzi maybe on this side right now then I have a water fountain which I could use which I will copy that from here now all these I got it as a block from the AutoCAD library which is the design center now the only thing that's left is just putting in the grass and you know just cleaning up a little bit so to put the grass in I will use uh, the PL P line and just do a rough trace of where I want my grass to grow I would go in from here to there To make sure I don't overlap the lines, I have to be a little bit clean. And I have to start, I have to finish where I started. Something like that. And I think that is good enough. If you see, if I click on it, this is the area where I'm going to put the grass in. I can even 
uh, have another P line and put it in this area. Okay, so now let's do the hatch. Make sure we are in the tree layer by making that layer current. And I'll do hatch, H, enter. And I'm going to pick here and select the select the grass or let's see which one I would like to take maybe I'll just take this one hit OK select objects I'll select that area and this area hit enter I would do a preview thing that looks fine I'll hit enter and hit OK so I've already put the grass in I have my shrubs and my trees I have a picnic table over here which I could just match up with this layer I could copy another one and put it right next to the pool so that's pretty much what I have on this side other than let's see if we have the north symbol let's see if I put the north symbol here oh it's right there so north symbol is extremely important in a site plan. A site plan isn't complete uh, without a north symbol. So make sure you are putting in the north symbol in the right direction. I'm going to scale it at three times. So that's pretty clear on my sheet there. Now if I were to make this pool, I would just start with the spline command and just go one by one okay but I'm pretty sure you can try that on your own it's really simple just a few clicks and end up where you started okay enter 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 so I have the pool and then I could use some offsets for the trim offset for you know my walk-in area and then I could hatch the inside okay you could connect it wherever it's not connected and then you could go ahead and hatch it okay so that's the pool for you this is how I made uh, the pool using the same exact spline command and just the hatch to hatch this in so I'm going to erase that I don't need it anymore and this is how our site plan looks like okay just a little bit more cleaning to do but I'm pretty sure you could manage it on your own now uh, instead of the roof plan if I wanted I could uh, have my first floor loaded and my roof plan unloaded by clicking there first floor plan right click reload see I could show in my first floor as well so people know how my rooms are in relation to the landscape around it I could turn off LAYOFF -F, like the dimension layer I really don't need the dimension layer so I could turn that off and voila that is my site plan if I go in here I could put all my site plan on one sheet and it's good to go alright so I'm going to just go back to the way I had before I'm going to unload this I'm going to erase everything that was here and I will move this back to where I started with move and I move it down okay I'm going to get my roof plan right click reload so my roof plan comes in position and I will have to move my drawing a little bit more 
so it snaps in in the right position okay so this is your site plan and I'm pretty sure you would enjoy working with the site plan uh, because it does have quite a bit of landscape you always show the roof in the site plan sometimes you would even prefer to show the first floor if you wanted uh, you show your driveway if I wanted I could I could show a car coming in over here I could show a car that's parked onto this side I, mean, I could just keep working on this site plan forever and keep adding more and more detail and make it look nice and welcoming for the client okay because the site plan is something that would grab his attention so it does require you to invest quite a bit of time and make it as nice as possible okay so if you have any questions feel free to ask make sure you uh, subscribe to my channel share it with your friends and like the videos if you like them thank you